Gone are the days when businesses only had to think about bringing in revenue. While growth is always welcomed, businesses also need to focus on reducing disruptions. From systems downtime to loss of critical data, cybersecurity breaches not only interrupt usual operations, but also impact brand reputation and customer trust in the long run. Developed by the National Institute of Standards and Technology, the NIST framework is now widely regarded as the gold standard for cybersecurity posture. When used along risk assessments, cost-benefit analyses, and continuous monitoring, NIST offers the tools for companies to prevent unexpected business interruptions and mitigate financial losses. By the way, we are UExec. We create business presentation templates and spreadsheet models to save you hours of work. Follow us to receive weekly business templates and spreadsheets that will propel your career forward. Studies show that 65% of consumers lose trust in a company after a data breach, and stock prices can drop about 5% the day a breach is disclosed. It takes years or even decades of work to build social credibility for a business, and all that can be wiped away in just a few days. The interconnectedness of today's business ecosystem proves that cybersecurity efforts shouldn't be limited to the work of a single department. The NIST cybersecurity framework is particularly useful for bridging the gap between technical and business stakeholders. As a common language and methodology for discussing cybersecurity risks and strategies, the framework allows for better communication, decision-making, and alignment with broader business objectives. This feature sets it apart from other frameworks that may focus solely on technical aspects. Plus, the framework's flexibility and adaptability is attractive to organizations of all sizes. This allows companies to tailor their cybersecurity programs for their specific needs while staying aligned with regulatory requirements. Let's take a deeper dive into the framework and its related tools. By the way, these tools can also be used even if your organization uses a different cybersecurity framework. Let's start with the pillars of NIST CSF as they provide the backbone that guides how an organization ultimately chooses to design and implements its cybersecurity program. Currently, the framework is made of six key function areas, govern, identify, protect, detect, respond, and recover. In the govern function area, the objective is to establish and maintain governance for effective cybersecurity risk management. The goal is to define clear roles, aligned objectives, and robust risk strategies. The focus of the identify function is to understand risks to critical assets and to prioritize vulnerabilities and threats for informed risk decisions. Protect involves developing safeguards to secure systems and data integrity with the goal to enhance overall security posture. Detect aims to promptly identify cybersecurity events through monitoring processes. This should then allow for swift incident detection. Respond involves developing response plans to contain and mitigate cyber incidents effectively. The goal here is timely and efficient responses. Lastly, the recovery function focuses on recovery plans to restore capabilities post-incident. In the unfortunate cases when cyber attacks do occur, a solid recovery plan enables quick system and service restoration for business continuity. With ever more sophisticated cyber attacks, the NIST CSF will likely be updated with time. Version 2.0 was released this February to expand its scope to all organizations, not just those in critical sectors. Note that one of the six main pillars we mentioned earlier, Govern, was a new addition in the latest iteration. This emphasizes the role of governance and enterprise-level support when it comes to cybersecurity programs. By the way, this video only touches the tip of the iceberg. For more details on the NIST cybersecurity framework and its tools, download the full presentation. Now that we've identified the parameters of NIST, it's time to introduce some tools that can be used to implement the function areas we mentioned earlier. Risk analysis provides a proactive approach. When presented to management executives and stakeholders, the possibility of risks invoke informed decisions and efficient resource allocation as preventative measures. When it comes to evaluating the current status of an organization's cybersecurity measures, much of that work resembles a gap analysis. On this visualizer, for example, the data points display both the current security level and the expected security level. In this instance, the y-axis represents project business value, which implies the strategic importance of cybersecurity investments and the critical link between security measures and overall business success. On the x-axis, project cost illustrates the financial implications of cybersecurity decisions. 
Altogether, a risk mitigation visualizer such as this helps organizations make informed cybersecurity choices that align with their budgetary constraints. Within the NIST CSF, maturity levels play a pivotal role in cybersecurity evaluation. These maturity levels graded on a scale of 0 to 5 offer a structured method to assess the advancement and effectiveness of various NIST components. This radar chart plots target scores, policy scores, and practice scores for each NIST component. It shows areas where cybersecurity measures align with best practices and where enhancements are needed to bolster security resilience. Rather than being weighed down by the complexities of technical knowledge, stakeholders and decision makers can use this visualization to easily identify strengths, weaknesses, and areas for improvement. By leveraging this assessment tool, organizations can not only benchmark their cybersecurity maturity against industry standards, but also prioritize investments and initiatives to fortify their defenses and mitigate cyber risks. In June 2017, the world saw the most devastating cyber attack in history. The NotPetya attack left significant marks on numerous multinational companies and profoundly disrupted the global supply chain with its rapid spread through interconnected networks. The total damages from the attack exceeded $10 billion. That number alone wiped out years of business growth. In 2020, attacks cost governments and businesses $1 trillion, which equals to about 1% of global GDP. For individual companies, the average cost of a simple data breach was $3.6 million. While cybersecurity programs aren't traditionally viewed as explicitly revenue generating, they sure do prevent revenue loss in millions and billions. Sure, cybersecurity measures can seem costly to implement, so here's where cost-benefit analysis comes in. By comparing the cost of prevention with potential losses from cyber attacks, organizations can determine the most efficient way to deliver the desired outcomes while managing risks within their unique business context. Ultimately, the best approach finds balance between enough investments to achieve the protection without overspending or underinvesting. Remember, you can find more cybersecurity tools and NIST specific information in our full presentation, which you can download and customize to your company's needs. Ongoing monitoring is an unskippable step when it comes to understanding the overall effectiveness of cybersecurity measures. These dashboards provide a visual representation of key security metrics to identify trends, anomalies, and areas that require attention. One way to organize this information is by categorizing performance based on the six pillars of NIST. For example, this dashboard shows the identify and protect pillars and breaks down each subtask into performed, incompletely performed, and not performed. Alternatively, a dashboard of gauge charts can track NIST compliance areas over time. On a more granular level, and for team members with more technical roles, uptime and downtime monitoring allows any anomalies to be detected promptly before they lead to graver consequences. As organizations navigate the complexities of cybersecurity, the NIST framework's comprehensive approach with governance, identification, protection, detection, response, and recovery offers a strategic pathway to enhance enterprise resilience. With the incorporation of tools like risk visualizers, maturity level assessments, cost benefit analyses, and continuous monitoring, businesses can align cybersecurity efforts with broader business objectives rather than treating it as an isolated department. With a solid NIST CSF fortress, companies not only manage to safeguard their money, but also their long-term reputation. So what are some cybersecurity measures that your team has implemented recently? And how have they affected the way that you work? Leave a comment below so we can learn from each other. Thank you so much for watching.